Well, in the springtime, we hear the phrase moving up a lot. The bass have moved up. They haven't moved up. They've moved back down. Well, where is this place that they're moving from? Well, yesterday we had a gorgeous day for late February here. That water, like I said, was still in the 43 to 45 degree range. The fish were up shallow, but when that sun got low in the sky, the shallows vacated. Well, where are these bass at? Where are they going? What do we do as anglers when we go out there and we're expecting one thing, which of course rarely happens, and then we have to adjust? Well, I started to look around in the shallows all up and down the shoreline, and of course, as I thought, it was void of life. But then I started to go down a little bit deeper, and what I really want to point out here is that we have found, and you're going to see exactly how bass are using one of these migration routes or a very distinct edge, a really clear edge. So when I got to the point where that sloping shoreline met the lake bed, where we create that angle, exactly at that spot is where I started to pick up bass. Now I didn't see any of the big female bass, you know, that hopefully were going to be in here by now, but there was a lot of buck bass on this edge. And if you also notice that the vegetation that has started to grow, okay, it was getting that photosynthesis, it was starting to grow right at this point, right at that angle is where that starts to drop off as well. Well, I found pretty quickly as I was going up and down this edge, as I was traveling it, all kinds of bass. They weren't all grouped up tight like they were when they were up in the shallows. They were in pairs, twos, threes, or even singles roaming around, but they were clearly traveling this very defined spot. They were not going out to the middle of the lake bed, okay? They weren't even, let's say, halfway down this slope. They were right on that transition line from angle to flat. And then the other interesting thing here is that the traditional bus stops or these stopping places, loafing places that we often talk about, we could clearly see it and witness it here. And so often these places where bass will stop as they're moving, traveling, migrating, are going to be something different. In this particular case, we've got a couple old tires down here, and we can clearly see that this bass that was traveling along this very clear edge gets here to this different cover, okay, this different bottom structure and just sits right there and really loafs on it for quite a while before it starts to move off. So that's really important uh, as a visual. We talk about things that are different, but here we can clearly see it. A fish that was moving right along and then gets to this bus stop and stops and holds right there. And the thing that is so fascinating as this particular stopping point keeps reloading okay as other bass move through this area they all kind of slow down and hang out right there so how does that help us as anglers if we find one of these locations we know that it's going to reload we don't know how fast it's going to do that it may be within you know seconds could be within a few minutes or maybe it's just only the course of a couple very specific windows over a day, but it's worth checking these when you find them. Now let's take a look at this particular piece of water, stretch of water from above, okay? So anglers come in here all the time and they absolutely bombard the shallows right here. They just pick it apart, you know, skipping things up here, hitting that visible cover, all that type of stuff. And there's times when they do really well with that. But often what happens is they come in here and they're working that shallow visible cover and not picking up any fish or not picking up any fish of a decent quality, whatever that might be for your fishery. This particular edge that they were traveling down, this, this little highway or corridor was positioned approximately right here. So you can imagine as boats come in here where they were sitting and throwing over the top of these fish and those bass were probably not seeing any lures whatsoever. Now if there was bank anglers here, that's a different story. They're probably going to work that lure through this particular edge or migration route where these bass have gone once that water cooled off again. So what is our big takeaway here? We've got a couple of things that we need to take note as anglers. One, when you see those shallows go void of life, okay? When the bass have vacated that area, we really have got to focus 
on that first major defined edge okay can we find it and you don't always necessarily need these fancy electronics to do that lures can do that for us right where you're feeling just you know nothing on the bottom nothing on the bottom and then you start to get into a weed edge or maybe it's a riprap shoreline and it's where that riprap stops or you know if it's got a steep enough slope in that bank you can tell where that slope starts or stops depending which way that you're fishing from now if you're fishing a flat and they vacate well that edge could be a long ways away so that's a little bit different situation and the other thing that we need to think about here is how we approach this particular edge most people fish this perpendicular okay at 90 degrees most of the time well if you locate this migration route this very clear defined edge where all these bass are moving in this particular part of the lake if we can parallel that edge our odds of success are going to go way up just because our lures are in this zone much much longer well if you're in a boat this is a lot easier to do right if you're on the shoreline though you can still do this you may not be able to truly parallel depending how far out that edge is but you can definitely cast down the lengths of the shoreline and keep your lure in that target area in that zone a little bit longer and hey, if you want to watch that video about what I did last week and film these bass in ultra shallow water and really cold water, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.